microphones of headset when oh. I was instructing. All oh, right, right. You know, low budget. Low budget. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Liz Mills. <laughs> Comfortable for microphones. <laughs> hey, you're here on Glad Rep, and alongside me, we've got the one, the only. Two-time New Zealand champion, nominated for LGBT um, title, all the way from Brazil, Giovanna Perez. How's it going? I'm going great, thank you. That's great. So, obviously, you've got this major world title coming up March 30th. Don't know the, where the location is yet. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very excited. I think this is an epic moment for um, women's boxing in New Zealand, so two Kiwi girls mm. fighting for the world title, one of the major sanctions of boxing in the world. I think this is pretty exciting, and I'm very, very excited, excited and hungry. Mm, I know you're hungry. You know, as someone who might not know, she's vegan, so she is quite hungry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, so um, you're originally from Brazil, but you actually got your New Zealand citizenship this year. That's correct. On July, I got it, yeah. and I'm very proud of of it. So you really want to um, represent New Zealand? I want to represent New Zealand. New Zealand is my home now, so I'm representing New Zealand. See, this is what makes the people happy. (laughs) (laughs) New Zealand's your favourite country, you know. That's correct. (laughs) So who's the team that you're working with at the moment? Because I heard you've got quite a large team. Uh, You mean coaches? Oh, okay. I have my main coach, that's Terry, Terry Bachelor. So he's the man. I have my personal trainer, and um, body conditioning that Alexi Papayev mm-hmm. and also I have um, Alex Sua he's a former boxer mm. so a Samoan um, boxer and he helps out also he's my one of my coaches and Terry assistant let's <laughs> say like that and um, uh, that's it and other people involved too yeah. <laughs> uh, can I mention? Oh, you, you can always mention. <laughs> and uh-huh, also I have you that oh. helps promote me. So yeah, yeah I, I like that's to be my mentioned. team. <laughs> and my nutritionist, I can't forget forget my nutritionist that he keeps me on the right track too. So I have a really good team behind me, people that are very positive and uh, people that um, make my best comes out. So yeah. yeah, I'm surrounded by really really good people. Yeah, and like. Obviously, they're doing a good job because you look fit. You know. Well, look at those guns. I do my best. <laughs> I do my best. Actually, at the moment, I just came back from train for training. I had like a week of training after my last fight, so I indulged myself a little bit. <laughs> so I'm a little bit out of shape. You know, I heard but that, that it's the longest time you've actually had time off for a long yeah, time. Yeah, ten days of rest was like was killing me inside <laughs> slowly, killing me softly. <laughs> yeah, so you just came off a big massive one against Trish Rucker. Trish yeah, Rucker? that's correct. Trish. And what some people will say, you absolutely dominated each and every single round. How did you feel from that fight? Well, I haven't been preparing for fights since my last fight mm. with Lani in March, So, and I haven't had a match. So for that fight, I was also hungry. I needed to have that fight as a preparation for the big one coming in March. So, and I came with everything that I got. So, but I still have many things to work on it. Mm. Was actually a good fight for me to assess where I am and what I need to improve Mm. and things that I need to do for the next one. Again, she says she's hungry. Remember, she's vegan. Um, <laughs> she's got she's gonna slap me later. Um, <laughs> and like during that back um, during backstage, uh, I was there. Obviously, you had um, you got to meet uh, Israel Adesanya and like Junior Far and um, I forgot his name, but uh, yeah. the, uh, Dan. Oh no, not Dan Hooker. He was was he there? I, c- I can't remember if he was there or not. Um, and also um, Hemi Hio. How was it like to be in the room with all those? Uh, great name. Uh, was awesome because some of them I haven't met before like Jennifer. I met him that night and was awesome be surrounded by people who live this sport, you know, who are involved and in, uh, who are passionate about. So this is a really good inspiration uh, for me and I think for everybody that would be in that uh, room at that moment. Mm. So it was awesome. And also like um, I think the Scott, um, the Scott, the manager and trainer of Millic Scott was there as well that you got to meet as well he, and he was like oh wow well, it's uh, awesome to meet you and like very excited he got he took a photo of you and whatnot how, how that feel as well 
a feels good, very good, but I'm sorry, I can't remember who was. <laughs> <laughs> so many people I have met on that day. <laughs> so um, I, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel very excited to, yeah. to meet people who are involved on the sport and um, that makes me really get inspired and want to achieve my best every time. So yeah. yeah, it's very, very exciting. Yeah. And yeah, so this is, oh, sorry, having a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> having a senior moment. Yeah. Oh, so what was it like uh, being nominated for the LGBT awards? Was uh, I was very honored to be nominated as a sport personality of the year and be one of the finalists with you. <laughs> Both were um, nominated, so it was a really good accomplishment. A compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my sex and hot exit some sometimes makes me, yeah thank you makes me <laughs> <laughs> puts me in trouble so it was a really good um thing that happened to me uh so and i'm very honored to have been there i didn't get the prize but so good i was there i was nominated and we were one yeah. of the finalists uh, so best it's dress so of the good. night as well oh thank you yeah. well you, you all see the photos online because of the sequence dress you know you had rachel along and like i think our table was the loudest table when they announced our names so. yeah i think it was too and i have to give a shout out to eileen callist mm. she designed my dress because she transformed the beast and a princess so yeah so that's it <laughs> now time for business it's time to talk about lani who's out back there how does it feel to fight uh, lani again it's gonna be a challenge because she's a very experienced and talented boxer mm. we have had a very close fight uh when we fought was a split decision uh, but I'm excited mm. because I have been working hard and I really, really want to get this fight um, and do my best. <laughs> so I remember in that ninth round, um, some people saw it as a slip, some people saw it as a knockdown. Uh, how did you feel about that? No, definitely was a slip. If it was, if it was a knockout, I would tell. I would tell you guys because I'm straightforward. <laughs> I brutally honest but was a slip <laughs> yeah the the ring was very uh, slippery and i sweat a lot so <laughs> yeah it was yeah. yeah did you feel that you won that fight because like it was a split decision it was very close and then dan hennessy kind of uh, of course to his credit he didn't know who what was happening but how did you feel do you think you won that fight uh i think the the best on the night won um Which well i won <laughs> uh but of course and that fight was a really good a uh, moment to me to stop and reflect and think where i want to be and what i have to work on it so yeah learning was amazing that night she's pretty fast she moves a lot in angles mm. uh but i think um my heart and my aggression took me there yeah now I saw on Facebook that uh, someone said to Lani that you looked bigger than her. You know what Lani said? No, I don't know. She said it was just an illusion. Oh, <laughs> an illusion. Uh, could be, could be. How do you feel about that? I don't feel. F I feel fine. I don't feel anything, to be honest. Everybody's entitled to have their opinion. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, um, well, I hope for. Right. So this is actually for the WBO world title. Um, this is the same title that Joseph Parker's had, same title that a lot of major names has. Anthony Joshua has this belt currently. All the big names has that. It's a major title. How do you feel about uh, fighting for that title? <laughs> well, it's a thing that I have been working for two years or maybe three. I, s I think it's since I started boxing and after I have had my matches and my wins, uh, I put this in my mind because I really set really uh, big goals to myself. So this is a goal that I have been having for a long time and I'm going to work my ass to get it. That title yeah. is going to be mine. Okay. Who do you think is going to win? And Me, results? of course. <laughs> Any, any predictions, decisions? Uh, no, no predictions because everything can happen at the moment. Mm. But I will do my best because yeah. I can see my name on that title. Well, good luck for that fight and I'm looking forward to seeing it. And it might be, there is uh, talk that there might be on TV too. So, not TV too, but like also as well as TV. So, that's in negotiation. So, that'll be massive to have you on TV. Yeah, it's a mess uh, for both of us, me and Lani, because uh, we are very dedicated boxers and... Um, 
I think this is an epic and it's a good time for women's boxing in New Zealand yeah. to, because we have amazing boxers here in New Zealand. I think uh, if everybody could support us and make it this a really good event, it would be nice. It's, it's epic, everybody. Please, we need this. Women's boxing in New Zealand need a boost because we have very talented boxers in this country. The best it, boxers. And we need to put this out there. We need to let the, no, the world know that we are here. Exactly. Well, good luck for that uh, fight and uh, let's see a big banger. Thank you very much.